Greetings my loyal minions and welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions or concerns please feel free to leave a comment under any of my videos or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. If you want to donate to my channel I do have a cash app, PayPal and Venmo. Links are in the description below. You also have the choice of super chatting me whenever I'm live or you can leave a super thanks under any of my videos or live streams. Just keep in mind you are under no obligation to donate to my channel, but any bit would be most appreciated. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to. So, grab onto your neck braces and make sure they are firmly in place, grab a stiff drink, some popcorn, take a seat and hang onto your butts because we are going to be in for some more major whiplash. Hey, what up you guys? It is Sassy Sassin here back with another video. I hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful week so far. It is currently March 14th, 2024. And in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to a few things. Foodie Beauty, aka Everyday Mary Ham related. The first being um, some community tab posts that she posted recently. And then I'm going to react to a video brought to us by Chicken Pickle. So shout out to Chicken Pickle for providing us with today's video. Brought uh, titled Foodie Beauty Ramadan Rager. And then I'm going to react to a video brought to us by Barbecue Chillin. So shout out to Barbecue Chillin for providing us today's video titled Islam is Not an Aesthetic. These are just basically um, highlights from Chantel's most recent live streams. I'm aware that there are more live streams that have been come out since these two, but uh, I just want to like cover these two because um, she's definitely been raging in these two so without further ado folks let's get to so the first community tab post says um it's not daylight in this picture it's called a lamp which has been there in almost every video mukbang also mahreb i don't know how if i'm saying that right breaking fast time happens when it's still light out the sun starts going down at that time, but for a bit, it's still light out. So that proves nothing. Actually, it proves that people on this platform are so dedicated to try and find out, find any nuance or hint that I am not, quote, following Islam to a T, end quote. Here's an idea, O oh righteous ones. Worry about yourselves and leave Islam and Ramadan out of your toxic dra drama channels. Chantel, here's the problem. You lie so much that we don't trust you. So what happens when when one is dealing with a chronic liar is that the per one questions everything that that liar says and does. We all know that you're not really do fasting. You're just this is all performative, okay? You don't have the ability to fast because you're just so consumed by food that it's like literally you're everything. It's all you think about aside from reaction channels. Your life is very limited, Chantel. And that does indeed look like it's like full daytime outside. And here you are eating. And like, look, you are already exempt from doing you know, uh, the fasting because of your diabetes. So I don't know why you're trying to be a tryhard. Okay. You're just mad because you got caught out for, for lying. Once again. It is what it is, Chantel. When you lie uh, so much, people catch on very, very quickly. It is what it is. You're, you, you're bringing this on yourself. Anyways, let's move on to the next community tab post. All right. So the picture says, I think this is like a, a comment. Why is there sunlight and why Sala doesn't eat with you? This is sketchy. Next time, show the time when you break the fast. Then Chantal writes, listen, DZ, who do you think you are that I owe you any kind of proof 
of fasting. Who made you the official fasting police? Check my post below this one. It's a lamp. And it's still daylight when the fast ends. Only thing sketchy, quote unquote, is a community of weirdos that their magnifying glasses out with their magnifying glasses out and still getting it wrong. Even if I slow showed the time when I break my fast, you, you petty board people will only accuse me of manipulating the clock. I owe you nothing. Oh, and Salah doesn't eat with me when I do a mukbang. I've said a million times he doesn't want to be in the videos during mukbangs. Chantel, it's pretty obvious that you broke the fast early, okay? It is what it is. We know that you're not really fasting. This is all performative. And when you bring, you know, you bring all this stuff to your channel, your religion included, and you turn it into to a performance, nobody is going to take you seriously as a Muslim. That, that's just that, that's just the beginning of it and end of it. Nobody's taking you seriously. We all know that your with your ED uh, will not allow you to fast that long. And like I said, you shouldn't be fasting anyways because of your diabetes. You're just trying to prove a point and put on this performance for us because you're so self-conscious and you feel the need to prove yourself it's like girl no one cares honestly as an as a let's say an audience member slash reactor i'd rather you just be honest about how things really are than continue to put on a front but we all know that your uh, the the illusion that you put out is everything to you like you're holding on to this illusion for dear life because you're afraid of showing things as they really are. So. Let's move on to the, the next. Oh, this is the last one. Okay. And then she says, Oh, and one more thing. I am far from bringing myself down to their level. In order to do that, I would have to make a hate channel and target one individual Oni. Oh, Oni. <laughs> only making hundreds of, th of thousands of videos Fat shaming, nitpicking, religion mocking, doxing, making fun of their family mem members and defaming them every single day. When I point out their hypocrisies or pettiness or lies, it's always a rage. But when they sit there on a stream for hours yelling like psychopaths that they cannot stand me or make w videos 10 minutes later after I post and to whine and whine, yet watch every single thing I do, this is totally normal behavior? Okay, got it. Anyways, going forward, I will not allow these to toxic people to soil Ramadan with negativity. I only wanted to make a point, but in the end, it's just sad that the com that community only thrives on pettiness and bullying, all to make a buck in their sad lives. I will pray for you this Ramadan, and inshallah, God will lift. Inshallah, God will lift. Will lift soft will lift soft out of that darkness in your souls. Until your community is toxic. Okay? You've... The very things that you're complaining about being done to you, you've done yourself. The fat shaming, the nitpicking, religion mocking, doxing. Didn't you hire... Uh, Missy Moo to dox other people? Hmm? You did that? You go after family members, you go after p p p children, because you think you're valid in doing so, to prove a point. But it's not okay for us to do the same to you? So what works for you doesn't work for everyone else. You're just mad because you're getting called out for your your lies once again and now you're coming on here raging like a freaking psychopath as per usual because you you know you're wrong you in the wrong you know you've done and fucked up and it is what it is 
you could sit here and go after reaction channels as much as you want, but the reality is, Chantel, your channel's tanking. You had to have had to look views and subs to keep yourself afloat, okay? And just so you could get that little plaque of yours because you're that pathetic. And uh, you're mad because we reaction channels make your content more interesting because you can't hold your content on your own because you're that boring. But see, despite you being boring, we still cover you because the, within all all the the mess, there is a nugget like of of gold there for us to react to each time. So for those for those that get it, get it. For those that and there there are those that don't don't get it. It is what it is. And you obviously don't get it, Chantel. And didn't you try to become a reaction channel? Reacting to uh, Yo Mama's reacting to reaction channels? Just stop, Chantel. You going on it like this is only making you look worse. But anyways. Let's move on to the next to the next thing which is the chicken pickle video video but i will say before i move on to that you say that inshallah god will lift that that darkness out of your souls or in your souls um you should be saying the same about yourself because your soul is so dark and so just depraved that i'm surprised there's a, even a soul left you need to pray for yourself because Chantel. You, you're ter you're not a good person, and you know that. You've done some very terrible things to people, and said some very terrible things to people. And you think that Allah isn't looking at that and shaking his head, girl? But anyways, um, let's move on to the the video. Let's rage. So, um, it was brought to my attention that people are lying on me and finding entertainment and lying on my religion and making a mockery of my religion. So, I thought I would show you. Um, a if it's not really your religion, is it? Food is your religion. Food is your coping mechanism. You worship at the altar of food. You don't give two shits about Islam. You, just because you took the Shahada doesn't mean you really took it into your heart. That Shahada, in my opinion, meant nothing because it was all performative. This whole it, Muslim act of yours is a cosplay. It's performative. You, when you bring it online and make it the focal point of your channel, you're, you're, you're doing it performatively. It shows that you're not taking it seriously. In, in the context and the way you do it. I've seen Muslims come on here on YouTube and talk about, you know, Islam and stuff like that. But it's different because they do it in a way that's still respectful. But you don't. That's the difference. You show that you don't take Islam seriously by your behavior and what you say. Apparently when I'm praying, I'm not praying in the right direction. So I just want to show you that that's a lie. a 100% lie. So, as you can see, why don't you just get an app? I have an app. Look it. You see, this is my front page of my phone. Yeah, cool story. Thanks for showing your phone where we can see your little Photoshop app, Pixart. I thought you've never used Photoshop, Chantal. Here, this is the Qibla app. <laughs> Qibla is the direction of prayer, okay? So that's the direction you must face Mecca, all right? Yes, you must face Mecca, the Kaaba. And this is the Quran Pro. It shows me my prayer times, all this and that, all right? So, line number one dispelled. Line number two. Here, this, this little thing here, this is the, this, this is the, this will show you, this is the Kaaba, okay, the Holy Kaaba. This will show you the direction of prayer. So, as you can see in my video, where I was praying here, okay, you see that? That's the direction of prayer, right here, right here, okay? So, yeah, I was praying here, this is the direction, okay, this is the Qibla, okay? I'm going to be real honest for a second. I don't care at all if she prayed in the right direction or not. Chantal slapped on a hijab within two days of meeting Salah online. She converted without knowing anything about the religion or studying the Quran at all.
Chantal is Muslim for a man. Nothing she does is genuine. We already saw how much her religion meant to her when a potential breakup from a cheating scandal made her want to rip off her hijab and announce that she didn't believe in God. Real. In my humble opinion, none of it's real. Because if you were truly Muslim, Chantal, and you cared about your, you know, your, your spirituality and your soul and Islam, then you wouldn't be behaving the way you are. Things would be a lot different for you. But you just continue to prove that this that you're just join you have entered into a religion cosplaying as a Muslim for a man. That's it. That's it. You didn't do it for yourself. You did it for him because you thought that that's what he, what he wanted. Because you're so desperate for validation from a man, you you can't do it on your own. You fall apart. You don't have any sense of, a sense of self. And your other love in life is food. You didn't, I mean, it's, so you have the two things right now that, in, the, that you, in, you love most, which is a man and food. Because that's where you seek your validation from, is food. You think that food is, it's a really weird relationship that she has with food, to be honest. It's like she somehow seeks validation from it. It's a comfort for her. Like food is an inanimate objects that are meant to be eaten and basically consumed. They they don't have feelings. You know what I mean? Like they can't validate anything for you. The only only thing it validates is that you're really into food and you have a problem. And Sala is a romance scammer who is looking for somebody else and he doesn't love you. Like but you insist on hanging on to something that's, in my opinion, already fallen apart. It's just, it's pathetic. We all see it, Chantel, but you're the only one that doesn't seem to be able to see it because you're way too close to it. And also, last Ramadan, we were not even in this apartment. We were in the other apartment in Fahahil. And again, there, we were facing the right direction. My husband's been Muslim his whole entire life, okay? Um, no, he's not perfect, but it doesn't matter. He knows... Um, the direction of prayer, I'm pretty sure, okay? Compared to people who are criticizing it, saying we don't know, who are not even Muslim, have not prayed a day in their life, um, an Islamic prayer, have not prayed Salah a day in their life. How do you know they, they don't know? That you're just generalizing and assuming that, that none of us know. There are, are Muslims in this community, Chantel. Whether they live in the Middle East or they live in a West, Western country, there are Muslims in this community that have been Muslim all their life because they were born into the religion and yeah, they would know how to freaking pray properly. So, you're just trying to put out this narrative that we're all just stupid and we don't know what we're talking about, that we don't, none of us pray. How do you know that we don't pray? Either we're Muslim or or say we're Christian, or, you know, what have you. How do you know? You don't know what we do on our off time. But we sure as hell know what you do on your off time, because you make it blatantly obvious. Life, uh, know nothing, are Islamophobic, and just plain ignorant and dumb. So, yeah. Um, so there you go. <laughs> I don't know how much I'd rely on your husband for guidance within Islam, but that's just me. It's like it's a conversation we shouldn't even be having. He's not exactly the a moral person with a lot of moral fiber. This is a man that hates white Western women who is an incel and wants to shit on us. I mean, that's just disgusting. It doesn't matter what religion you're a part of. That's just gross. Like, there's an entire community of bored people who have no life and no content. So they make content out of bagging on a Muslim for their how they practice their religion. When they're the biggest cruds on this planet. And are surely, like, who, how are you going to judge somebody for how they practice their religion? When you're the most vile people on the internet and you shouldn't even have a platform. Like, I don't get it. Yeah, ever since you reverted. 
because some of us are actually religious, okay? Some of us are Muslim, and we can see, and, but regardless, all, whether we're, we're religious or not, we can see this for what it is. It's a sham, Chantel. It's all a farce. And you're just angry because we can see right through you and your little charade. So all of this raging that you're doing is you just throwing a freaking tantrum. This community suddenly became Islamic scholars. Exactly, exactly. And they're wrong, you know? Like, um, I heard on uh, your mama's stream um, a crappy reactor say, and she didn't pray in the right direction last year. What? You're, this is just lies. Like, flat out lies. We weren't even in this apartment last year. I mostly do, Kyla, but this is like an entire community of like Islamophobic people just like making a mockery entirely of the religion. Like, especially. Opinion about the way you practice Islam is Islamophobic? No, it's not. But she, you know, she loves to use those, those like hot, like those ticket, you know, those. Those buzzwords, right? Islamophobic, fat shaming, because she's trying to prove a point, trying to drive her narrative home. Girl, it's not going to work. Okay, having an opinion about your far the your the the lie that you portray on here is not Islamophobic. Sorry, not sorry, but we all know it's a sham during ramadan like are you serious like get a life does chantal know what the words mockery or islamophobic actually mean criticizing you for how you practice your alleged religion is neither of those things <sighs> kind of like kind of making a big deal how you cut your chicken right like somebody who sleeps with a child predator or a sex offender makes fun of how i come like okay i'll recreate it no problem um you know what i know i'm thirsty i can't drink i didn't even have to cut the chicken like whenever you simmer a chicken for long enough it falls apart. So I literally only had to tear it apart. Like, basically, it actually just fell off. Like, the spine, everything just fell off, basically. And then I roasted it in the oven. It's a very common way of cooking. Like, again, people are just ignorant. Like, recreate it yourself. Simmer the chicken for long enough, it will come right off the bone. You don't have to cut it. <laughs> like, there's no, I, I, I know, I can't with these people. I can't. I've made a lot of chicken in my life, and I can confidently say I've never both boiled and baked a chicken to cook it. It's usually either or. You lost all of the flavor by boiling it and made it dry as fuck by baking it after. I bet Ambie would have loved it, though. Like, what's the conspiracy? Like, I don't get it. Like, people are so bored, have no content. It's really embarrassing. Are you not embarrassed or what? I'm honestly just so over this person, this trash bag of a human, just coming for me and my religion and how I practice and every little thing I do, like, to the point where, like, I swear, if somebody bought me a plane ticket today, I would go next week to Canada just to sue the crappy stale leggings off of them. I would, 100%. Why would you... It's like, you could really do that. Shoot, seriously, Chantel, you don't have a case. FFG is well within her rights to have an opinion on the internet. She's not stalking you, okay? She's not breaking the terms of service on YouTube. You don't have a case. But go ahead and try, Chantel, and waste your money on something that you know you're not going to win. Need someone to buy your plane ticket. I thought Salak was a business mogul that took care of everything financially. What bothers me is how often they repeat the same stuff. Doesn't Salah have a perfume empire? Yeah, like, talk about beating a dead horse over and over and over. Like, that just proves to you that they need my crappy content. If my content, if I have no content, then what do you have? Your content is literally picking at how I cut my chicken or how I'm praying in the wrong direction when that's not even true. So you're more interesting because your content alone is dry as fuck and we have a good time picking apart the nuances in your video for those that get it get it for those that don't don't it is what it is literally inventing lies just to keep your hate hungry audience eating something because they have nothing nothing zilch no life and these are adults. Or imagine uh, just beating today. Imagine what kind of mother is raising a child fat shaming another woman on the internet. We can see your roles in your, your abaya. And what's your point? I'm fat. Does it look like I care? <laughs> what, kind of, what, what kind of person like just sits there and body shames somebody for content? I want to get you going. Well, yeah, fine. I'll speak out about their lies and their hypocrisy and their Islamophobia then. 
doesn't chicken kind of fall apart in the same places when it's cooked? You always assume that we're just... We live to watch your videos. Girl, we have lives outside of this. Jobs, children, more commitments than you do. And we still are, manage to be able to sit down and uh, relax and uh, talk, shoot the shit about you, about Amber, and whatever else. I mean, it is what it is, Chantel. This, this, you're, you are our form of entertainment. That's where it begins and that's where it ends. You're the one that doesn't have a life, Chantel. Up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, live streaming, complaining about how tired you are. Binging constantly. I mean, need I say more? Hotboxing those animals when you're smoking the shisha? You can't even manage to, to clean up that spare room. So you just left your hamster in there to do whatever. How they were both legs were even. It's not like I and Islamophobic for pointing pointing out how much of a piece of shit you are. Up close, like next time I'll up close the skin to show you the skin placement. And some places it was curled up a little bit. Oh god, I'm sorry. Imagine being this worked up because someone criticized the chicken you cooked. That peaceful Ramadan is off to a great start. It's sad that I like I guess I didn't have to do this, but yes I did. Because if you're gonna lie about my me and how my religion, like too bad for you. I would never make it through Ramadan. You would be exempt here, draw because you have, you know, illnesses and stuff. And I do too. Technically, I don't have to fast. Like, if I ever feel very, very unwell, or I'm, like, if I needed to, then I would. Yeah. But that's between me and Allah. You know, I'm not gonna like talk about it on live, and I'm not gonna like announce it publicly. But so far, so good. <laughs> Anything else to the internet? Why not that? Like seriously, Chantel, you by bringing your religion, your so-called religion to the internet and making it a focal point of your channel and the, and the way you do it, you're mocking Islam. You're mocking Islam by, by doing what you're doing on here. Alhamdulillah. This just tells me she is absolutely not fasting. Some weird conspiracies. Because she has no brain. Oh, like, this is not just yeah, of course she's not shaming her. It's legit. She has very low intelligence to be able to, to, to not realize certain things. Like, like people don't... People who are intelligent and have a life, they don't sit there and discuss dumb, weird, petty things and pick apart the life of somebody else and, like, make up lies and attack religions and, like, discuss religions during Ramadan, how another how Muslims are worshipping when you're not even Muslim, or comparing a Muslim to another person. I saw um, another lowlife do that. Comparing, oh, well, we're going to compare her, how she does her vlogs and worships and all this other stuff, um, how she does her vlogs during Ramadan. Look, the point of Ramadan is not to be fancy and how many fancy abayas you can afford to wear. Maybe that person has more money than us. Like, what are you doing? Like, shaming someone's finances now? Like, maybe that person has a different lifestyle. Like, I'm not all about that. I don't care. I'm not going to waste all my money on trinkets when I can give it to the poor, which is what the spirit of Ramadan is about. It's about Zakat. Let's sit here and talk about giving to the poor. Chantel, you haven't given anything in your life. Stop. Just stop. Stop trying to act all fucking pious and better than the rest of us. You don't give a shit about other people but yourself. You just don't. That and donating and praying. It's not about how many fancy decorations you can put in your apartment. Like, people who know nothing have the most to say. So let me get this straight. You just said it was wrong to judge a Muslim on how they practice their religion or Ramadan, and then in the same breath criticized whatever Muslim this other channel showed for buying fancy abayas and trinkets, because she should have given that money to charity instead. Also, just to be clear, you have shamed people for their finances many times. What, right? She's just doing that because she's poor now, and she wishes she could buy fancy stuff. And yes, that includes since you've allegedly been Muslim. Even referring to FFG's apartment as the Motel 6 would be finance shaming. How hypocrisy you are. Oh, and Courtney, about Mr. Cardigan, I don't care. Like, he's a liar, he's just a glorified exactly. hater, and he's going to relive something about the past, go for it. Another one who has no content unless he's beating on the same fat women on the internet, beating down the same women, or trying to, like, make documentaries on us. Like, <laughs> please, people need to get off their high horses and stop being self-righteous. Like, it's just insane. But people are hungry for drama, like super hungry for drama. That's all people want. 
is to see others miserable and for drama. Like, what does that say about you, you know? Pointing out what you've said and done. Your own words. He's just show giving you a, mi uh, a mirror to look or looking you're basically your reflection you're still that same person Chantel in fact you've gotten worse not gotten better you're just a old nasty manipulative and decrepit human being there's nothing good about you whatsoever be becoming Muslim a Muslim per you know be joining Islam has not changed you whatsoever Whatever, backwards, babe. I'm allowed. To, I'm not saying anything mean about anybody, so I'm gonna block you. Goodbye. Like another virtue signaler. I'm allowed to defend myself in Islam and talk about certain things if I want to. Did I insult any of these people? Yeah, they're ignorant and they look dumb when they say things that are not true. I love how she asks if she has insulted any of these people after she just spent the whole video calling everyone idiots, morons, liars, bad mothers, and more. And then to answer her own question, follows it up with more insults. Never change Chantal. Every right to defend yourself. Her, her excuse is, oh, I have a right to defend myself when I'm being attacked. There are other ways of going about responding to people. You don't have to rage all the time when somebody has an opinion that you don't agree with, when somebody says something about you. There are ways of dealing, dealing with things without being nasty. But see, you can't do that, can you? Because you're a nasty person. It's, it's, it's just how you are. Yeah, I mean, I'm not doing it in a super hateful you don't way. Deserve because you're sitting there calling everyone stupid and bl and what have you. It's like, girl, your channel is dying. Your audience is dwindling. Like, be lucky that you have anybody watching you. Because one day, all, all those audience members that you have could just up and leave. Lowering myself to their level anymore, you know? That is true. Not very nice to bring up people's past and shame them for it. Exactly. If it's not nice to bring up people's past and shame them for it, why in this video do you bring up Breezy's prior arrests for punching out her grandpa or FFG's evictions or Sam and Yaba's past? Like, by all means, talk your shit. But if you are claiming your past is off limits, you shouldn't be able to use anyone else's either. Why do they react to people who are suffering from issues? That's disgusting. Because exactly. It's honestly... If you're going to start, you know, throwing stones and, and digging up other people's pasts, it's fair game with, with regards to your past. Fair game, Chantel. You brought it to the internet and we have a right to talk about it. That it is what it is. If you don't like it, get off the internet. You don't like it, grab a helmet. Grab some armor because, you know, life is tough. It is what it is. Because they're ableist and they think that they're funny. Like, they do it for money. Like, imagine doing something so immoral just to fatten your pockets. Like, do you know how much karma you're going to get returned to you? Like, people think they see people, like, living the good life right now. And they think that, oh, they're just getting, you know, richer. They're just getting more prosperous. And it's like, yeah, that's all going to come. You're all, you're, that's all going to tumble down on you because of the way you earn your money, because of the way you live your life. A hundred percent, you know? I see you're speaking from experience, considering you used to make $20,000 per month, and now you don't. But that's a blatant lie. I wasn't praying in the- She's just jealous of the people that still make more money than her. You can tell. She misses that $20,000 a month. She misses her life. She misses Koki and all that drama. She's miserable in, in, in Kuwait. The wrong direction that's mostly what i wanted to prove i do have an how do you guys even know i have before accusing me if i don't have an app or not how like you don't know you don't know anything you don't know ish you don't know anything at all especially about the religion you google things to find out like get a life <laughs> please these are like adults these are adults like why don't you act your age grow up like what are you doing with your time with your life it's so sad exactly that's all they know how to do is bully other people yeah for entertainment they think oh it's just fun it's entertainment um no someone's religion is not entertainment um, somebody's weight or their body shape is not entertainment. Like, get a life. Like, are you perfect? Is your body shape perfect? Are you, you know, like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know, you know, I do. Chantel, by any means, but when you bring your entire life to the internet, 
and show, and especially if you're showing that you're not a good person, it's fair game. We're allowed to talk about it. You think that you're gonna, you're just gonna get ass pats and and kind words from us? No, you've shown yourself to be a nasty, narcissistic, manipulative piece of shit human being. And this is what's, this is karma, Chantel. This is your karma. Not like reaction channels not helpful and without even looking at them. That's why I do not. Yeah, yeah. These people, like, how are you going to judge how I look praying? That's so disgusting to make fun of somebody like in sujud position when you don't even have a camera and don't show yourself. Are you serious? Like, my, my mind is like blown. I can't. I don't know how YouTube platforms these people, but I continue every day to report them. Hopefully, inshallah, they will do something about it. And I'm honestly like so close to just getting on a plane and going to sue the crap out of you know who like i'm serious i'm done i see all these law you call them lawsuits but no there's a lot of online harassment and defamation and making fun of people if hussy could win a case against dc when she did way less than you know who um fake fake big potato does every single day for years <laughs> what do you think i would be awarded like seriously i'm, I'm like fed up i want to shut her up for good i'm not kidding not gonna happen you don't have the money you don't have a case, but go ahead, Chantel. Go ahead and try and waste your money on something that you know is is. There's no winning for you. I. My God, she's so dumb. She really is. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm seriously like this close to doing it. I'm this close to getting off of here and booking a flight. Then do it. You've been threatening a lawsuit for years at this point, and you have done absolutely nothing. Using this to beg for free airfare from your audience only weeks before your visa is set to expire is gross, and I hope it comes back on you. That's the thing, these people are obese themselves. She's just doing this for because she needs the, the visa, the money to get her visa renewed. She needs to fly the ticket money. Because that's how bad things are financially for her. And I don't think Sala cares enough to even play, pay for a plane ticket. Okay, and they don't show themselves. Or maybe admit her going back to Canada and not being able to come back. That way he could fuck around and, and do whatever he wants. So of course they can say, oh, I had pineapple only for dinner. Of course people are going to believe that, right? Because they don't show themselves. You know? What is up? What but is I'm your obsession? Are... Who cares? Who gives a shit, Chantel? Camming up does not mean anything. That is your thing. Okay? We don't have to prove a damn thing to you. Us not camming up doesn't, doesn't... It holds no relevance in this conversation. Call me fat, whatever, I don't care. That says more about you than it does about me. It always will. That's whatever, you know? But Hallie you are is good. Fat. I mean, I don't want him running around. I don't like him, like, out and not knowing where he is, you know? Um... People are always like, buy him a bigger cage. Why? This is literally the biggest cage at Petzone. Like, look it up online if you want. There's like, if you see them in person, like online, you can see it. Don't. This is the biggest one that we found at the store. So. That's not an excuse. Look online. Yeah, really thrill her, right? The spy, yeah. Imagine living your life just to spite somebody. Like, what kind of life do you have? And you have the nerve to judge someone else who's actually living their own life and making their own content. Even if you think it's bad content, that's all your content is, is picking apart my bad content. How boring and mundane are you then, you know? Yeah, teardrop. She needs to be put in her place for sure. She's oh my god. She's like criminal. She's disgusting. You know, like. And I saw a tweet like of her like being like we like attacking Americans. Like we don't we don't think of lawsuits right away. Yeah, well your la eight landlords did when they took you to court for your non-paid rent. Uh oh, you can't say that, Chantal. It's part of her past. We've established that's not nice. Please don't be a hypocrite. They even bag us for sticking with you. Yeah, of course they're going to. They try to take any support system I have away. And then they have the nerve to say that anyone else is narcissistic. Like, I, I can't. Or this, like, complete speaking. Just keep in mind, you guys. FFG has paid her debts. Okay? She settled all of that. You have, what do you have, Sean? You have, you have. Bankruptcies, you have a Kia that you haven't paid off, you've got that debt from from the the villa, the five thousand dollars. She doesn't have debt. She's paid off all her shit. There's more than they, she has a man too. That actually likes her, is willing to you know, be around her, who actually can stand her. 
You're you're literally having to be fake married to a man who's just using you for papers. You're pathetic, Chantel, in every sense of the word. And you know it. And you hate the fact that the FFG points that out every day. Narc. Have you heard about this like narc channel like going after Amber Lynn? She's like an older woman, like trying to be DC media. And she just thinks she knows everything. She picks apart everything about Amber Lynn, like everything. She goes after her weight loss doctor. She's, she's insane. Like these people are insane. You're the only narc here, okay? You abuse somebody online and then you deflect. That's exactly, you, you deflect and blame them for your stalking and your harassment. And that's exactly what narcs do. So congratulations. Isn't that what you're doing right now? You're attacking people personally and deflecting by saying it's just in defense of things they've said. Yeah, I don't have Dove. I don't, I'm not doing that. I'm not making an aquarium and everything. I'm never getting another hamster ever again. She's being a narc because that, no, a narcissist can't admit to that. No offense. Like I said in my video, I don't have the means or the time or the energy. Like I, I have sciatica pain every day. I'm not making them a friggin' terrarium, wall-sized terrarium. No offense. No. Sorry, Harry. People can call me a friggin' animal abuser because I don't get them a bigger cage. I don't give a crap anymore. I'm like, I, I don't care. <laughs> There's always some excuse for why Chantal can't care for her pets. She likes to talk about your bankruptcy like she hasn't had she hasn't been sued by five landlords for unpaid rent. <laughs> like eight like eight times. Yeah. I've never been taken to court once for anything like that. Like no I've always, never for the unpaid rent or anything. For anything, Chantal you filed bankruptcy twice. Chantal you literally went to court for not paying for anything. What was she Exactly. And then you have that $5,000 that you basically left Pete's to pay. And then you have the, the Kia that, that you haven't paid off. Like, what are you talking about? You have more debt than, than FFG does. FFG has paid off all the unpaid rent and stuff. She's, that's done and over with. You stay with a guy who allowed her to be sued by landlords eight times. Not all of them are from that. And then she'll say, oh, it's because of my abuser. Okay, well, but then she'll laugh at me for content for paying the bum's rent a couple of times. All right. But she paid, how many times did you do, like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, exactly, Capricorn Fairy. It's between me and God, exactly. No one is perfect. Like, how many Christians watch me and never go to church? Are you fucking kidding me right now? You're going to come after Christians now? You're gonna come after us now, and 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 Bible and Bible bumps up, but Bible bumps bump us Christians. Are you fucking kidding me right now? You're gonna sit here and act like you're better than everyone else. Oh, girl, you do not want to step into this boat because let me tell you, you girl, don't even, don't even go there. Mm -mm. There are quite a number of Christians in this community. Mm -hmm. She really just did that, didn't she? She really just went there. You know, because like a true Christian, again, if you're judging me, then you're not a true Christian. Like you'd like to accuse me because you wouldn't be. Oh, oh, then you're not a true Muslim because the same goes for, 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 for being a Muslim. You're not supposed to judge others. So you're not a true Muslim, Chantel. You are a nasty piece of fucking shit. You are cosplaying for a man that doesn't want you. Who'd rather shit on somebody else because you're just too disgusting for him to want to shit on. That's you, Chantel. Excuse me. Judging somebody online. Like, you know, very bold of you to assume that everyone that watches you is religious in any way. I thought we weren't supposed to judge what other people do in their religions. So smoking weed and drinking, you're still Muslim. Judging someone online, you're not Christian. Chantal, please. You could ever sign an NDA. Yeah, I'm thinking just eight. Don't worry about it. I'm fed up. That's sad, though. Like, why do things to why attack someone's religion to get a rise out of somebody? Like, what kind of crap human being are you? Like, that's disgusting. Why does YouTube platform these people? Like, I don't get it. Like, I always see people too. It's so annoying. Chantel is a crappy person, but they're bad. Like, why? What do I do? I literally live my life. How am I a crappy person? Like, I do nothing. I live my life. I, like, you know, cook food, clean, go once in a while to the beach, feed my cat, pray, do 
little boring videos. If we're going to judge somebody over stupid things that they did in the past, well then, I guess... What you say and do now that, that we continue to judge you, Chantal, because you still prove yourself to be a bad person. My god, you, you, you literally were willing to let that hamster live in that room because you're too fucking lazy to clean up the room and um, get a proper cage for him. Shut the fuck up! Everyone's a bad person. Everybody Sir. on the planet. Everyone. By the way, my plaque is on the way. It's been shipped. Every day of Miriam. We're having it sent somewhere. We arranged for it to be sent somewhere. So, inshallah, it will arrive. Fine. If it arrives, damn it. No one cares about your plaque. And then I probably just request it to be sent to my mom's for future when I visit. <laughs> but, yeah. Congratulations. Nobody cares. She deserves to defend herself and stand up for what's right. And Cassidy, I don't do it often. I usually let things slide for a while. And then, like, like people come, people are going too far. Like, they go too far to try to, you know, have content. Like, imagine, you can make fun of my boring content all day, but I'm not hurting anyone at the end of the day. I'm not coming for people. I'm not harassing people. I'm not bullying people. You know, like... <laughs> You have gone after people and harassed people and doxxed them, too. Everybody that's come in contact with you has been doxxed, has been harassed, all because of you. Like, anyway, I'm not going to talk about it, but I know I've said many times, like, I'm going to do something about it, but it takes time, and I'm definitely going to work on shutting her up, for sure. If YouTube does nothing, like, I report them. Well, that's why Foodie Beauty does nothing about it. They make money together. No, I don't. I don't. I, I report them every day. Every day. So, well, almost every day. Not every single day, but when I remember to, yeah, I do. You're not going to do shit. Stop acting big and bad. You were all smiles and posing for pictures at the fashion show. You don't care. If you actually cared, you would have done something a long time ago. Imagine exactly. being a mother, like, just beating. And making fun of another person's body. You have roles. Like, grow up. Like, like, if my mom ever did that, I'd be mortified. You won't catch my mom, who has a life, uh, making fun of another person's body online for content. Like, embarrassing. What does being a mom have to do with anything? Your mom also sent you away to a group home, so, I don't know. Maybe don't use her as an example of a good mom. No, Chantal, you were not Muslim. Gave you away because she couldn't handle you. Because you're... I mean, you're you've been you're a a spoiled piece of crap. You always have been, even as a ch as a kid, I think. Based on how, what the stories that you've told and, and how you behaved as a child. Who are these people to say? Listen, I want to tell you something, okay? You can also Google. If you drink alcohol, you're still a Muslim. If you smoke weed, you're still a Muslim. All right. Faith. Oh my God. It's like. Fundam fundamental. I'm not a Muslim and I know that. I know in my past I have known Muslims and that was one of the things that they said, oh yeah, we don't drink, we don't smoke or do anything like that. You know, it's, it's against the faith. If you die with an intoxicant, there's a special place in hell that you will go to. I don't know what it's called, but I remember I shared a clip of it when, on the, you know, the video where uh, she was uh, caught smoking weed. She came out all crazy, like, oh, I'm smoking weed. And I showed that clip in the beginning about intoxicants. And how there's a special place in, in hell that she will go if she dies while intoxicated. You know what I mean? So what the fuck are you talking about? Every Muslim I have known has told me that they don't do that stuff because it's just a no-no. It's, it's, it goes against the, re the faith, the religion. If you do a lot of things that are haram, you're still a Muslim. It doesn't make you not a, a non-believer. Oh my god. <laughs> you're dumb. You're literally, if you're doing all this stuff that's haram and against the faith, then you're not a, a good Muslim, Chantel. You don't respect, you have no respect for, for the faith, of, of, of the faith. You're, you shouldn't be a Muslim if you still feel the need to do things that are, go against the faith that you've reverted to, 
into. It just shows every this argument of you, this pitiful argument of yours, shows that you just went and became a Muslim for a man. You're cosplaying. You're making a joke out of it. Like you do everything else in life because you can't take anything seriously because you're a piece of shit. You are genuinely a piece of shit. And now you're coming out here going after Christians. You don't want to go down that road, Chantel. There are a lot of Christians in this community. Myself included. I was born into Christianity. I may have lost my faith a little bit for, for a while. Okay. I don't claim to be the perfect Christian, but what I know of Islam is that drinking any kind of intoxicant and drugs and stuff like that, it's, it's, it's just a no-no. Okay, so like, yeah, I'm a Muslim. I don't drink alcohol. I don't smoke weed anymore. And even when I did, that's between me and God, and I repented for that. So you don't have someone, you don't have... You just, when you were in Thailand, you were high half the time. When you were in Canada, you were high every day. It just shows that you have no intention while being in a place where you could get, have access to it, of ever quitting. Which shows that you haven't learned anything. You have not gone on a spiritual journey. You've been a Muslim for over a year now, and you have learned nothing. You're still the same nasty piece of shit. And it's co you're just basically cosplaying. And being a performative Muslim. That's it. Your true rel religion is life is is the vice is your vices. And the main one being food. Food is your religion. It's your it's your coping mechanism. It's you worship at the altar of food. And I will continue to say that because it's true. The right to tell someone that that's like me saying to her, you're not Jewish. You're not Christian. All of you people who watch me. Who am I to say that to you? Who are you to say that to me? Just because at one point I was doing OnlyFans, or just at one point, like two years ago, that makes me not Muslim? Okay. Whatever you want to think. It's very ignorant, low intelligent people who just sit around, beat oh it Oh my god. The definition of ignorant and low intelligence, Chantel. This argument of yours is so circular. It, girl, it is not. You, you just. You are not capable of having a intelligent conversation, an intelligent comeback, or an argument. Because you are so dumb. You let your anger and your rage talk for you. Which is why you can't... You can't... There's no... You know... Uh, there's no reasoning with you. Whores are hungry for hate. Like, this is a Ramadan message for you. Get a life. Go repent. Go find a spiritual connection with something. Go find God. Because what? and do that and so stop coming on here and raging about what people say if you find something like that in your life you're not going to want to spend all day hating on other people in their religion but quit talking about my religion during ramadan you're hella disrespectful and disgusting and if that were me doing that to anyone else on this platform you're, you're doing it now you did it at ffg i would be canceled for 800th time okay so yeah you literally just said someone can't be a christian if they judge you on the internet this video is just a showcase of Chantal being a hypocrite for 20 minutes straight. I don't, oh, I think I know what you're talking about. I think um, you're talking about like a video that was from when I first became Muslim. Yeah, because like, I don't, I don't, I don't blame people for having that reaction. When I first started um, getting into Islam, like I started wearing a hijab and people went nuts. You're not Muslim, like take that off. People were shocked because of look at. About you is that you're not Muslim. You're still not a Muslim. You show yourself to have no respect for the faith that you claim to be a part of. You don't deserve to wear the hijab. You don't deserve to wear the, the abaya. You don't... Okay, but that's, you know, that's my humble opinion, but that's... Ultimately, that's not for me to decide. You know? The people that I've known that are Muslim would never act this way. Never. my past it's been two years Done. like or like i don't know how like yeah almost two years anyways it's been a long time okay so and i'm still wearing it i'm still wearing the hijab i'm still praying i'm still muslim 
So. People were not skeptical of your religion because of your past. People have been pretty consistent for these two years that the only reason you slapped that hijab on your bald head is because you met Salah on global Tinder, and the only yeah. reason you keep it on is because you're with Salah, and you proved that when he cheated on you and you threatened to take it off. Mark my words. When Chantal and Salah inevitably break it off, that hijab will come off faster than Chantal's panties on the purple mattress with D.D. I can't wait for the day when you slap off that hijab and say, I don't believe in God anymore. And that will show to everyone that you were never really serious about being Muslim. And then you'll start talking about, oh, how, you know, restrictive being a Muslim was. You'll start, you know, down talk, you know, bad mouthing the faith that you're, that you claim to be a part of. You do realize, Chantel, that the Muslim community on YouTube thinks you're vile. Okay? There is really nobody in the Muslim community that supports you. Not even off YouTube. People, I mean, you said you try to make friends with people. You know why they don't want to, they, they, they don't want to be, you know why they react the way they do? Because they don't want to be around you. Because you're vile and disgusting. Even Salah's parents don't like you. You can't even attend family functions because that's how much they hate you. You went into the desert with Salah and stole all the water from children. That's how vile you are. Who does that? Like, seriously. And whether people who are, like, ignorant think so or not, that doesn't, it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. That's between you and God. Exactly. It's no one's business. It's no one's right to tell people, to, what are you, Islam police? Like, who, what gives you the authority and the badge to be able to pick apart, like, oh, she's praying in the wrong direction. And I just proved to you I'm not. Like, what makes you, like, what gives you the right to pick apart someone's religion during Ramadan? Like, you're disgusting. Because you put it on the internet. It is exactly. really that simple. Don't put things on the internet if you don't want people to have an opinion on it. Okay, talk. Put something on the internet, you're opening it, opening it up for scrutiny, for, for people to discuss. It is what it is, Chantel. You don't like it, then get off the fucking internet! about religion didn't Salah say he wanted to urinate on a Christian okay listen that was something private not public that was something that's a, a fetish it's not real okay anything to do with fantasies there's a reason it's called a fantasy that's not real here and defend that disgusting shit seriously seriously Muslim or not Christian or not that shit is sick that shit is sick Chantel if it were me I wouldn't I would have never come back to 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 Kuwait, I would have found a way to get Julie. I, I, oh, see, I wouldn't put myself in this situation in the first place. But if it were me, and I found out uh, my man was was talking like that, just okay. I don't know. I I I don't. I, don't, I wouldn't stick around. It, it would say that we had kids and stuff like that, and then I I found out like years into a really, a marriage or whatever. That would be different, you know. But since Chantel has no connection to Salah. And they've, you know, whatever, I would have, I wouldn't have come back to Canada. I would have said, fuck it. I'm mean, sorry, I wouldn't have come back to Kuwait. I would have said, fuck it. You know, you're disgusting. You know, you've shown your true colors and I, that's it. I would have wiped my, washed my hands of them. You can't judge somebody based on a stupid fantasy. Okay. So, yeah. It's not, it's and, not and stupid. He's it. Oh my God, Chandel, you don't get it, do you? You're not what he's looking for, okay? He is just using you. And you are trying so hard to convince yourself that this is a love story. This is not some epic love story, Chantel. Okay? It's not It's not what you think it is. What is that, what is that excuse? Does he have a, a channel making fun of a whole religion? Or talking about a religion and picking apart a religion or how a Muslim worships their religion? No. Going after white Christian, white Christian women defacing holy texts and shitting on women. Are you fucking kidding me right now? And the reality is, you're too disgusting for him to even want to shit on. That's how low on the totem pole you are to him.
No, he doesn't. So get out of here. You can't, you don't know how to compare things. Like, no logic. And he's repented enough. He's dealt with it. Like, it's done, you know? So. No, it's not. First of all, we absolutely can and will judge a fetish. Salah absolutely wanted that fantasy to become a reality. He invited Kaibella to Kuwait. He just couldn't pay for her ticket because, as you said, he's a broke bitch. Also, Salah, up until that point, chose to make himself a public figure on your channel, your couple's channel, and his gaming channel. He is open to criticism just as much as you are. And finally, you have sat here this entire video talking about what does or does not make someone Christian, Muslim, or Jewish. Salah wanted to teabag a crucifix. If you're going to judge someone on their behaviors in relation to their religion, glass houses, sweetheart. I don't know, he might, he might start making content again, but he's really, he's busy with other things now. Like, he just wasn't really having, like, he likes to do the vlogs when we're traveling and stuff, but... How convenient that Salah couldn't get enough time on screen until his depraved cheating scandal came out, and now he's super busy and doesn't like to be on camera. You're not fooling anyone, Chantal. He has the biggest cage here. Batman is too afraid to come back on camera because he knows what he's going to get when he comes back. And rightly so, because he's a disgusting piece of shit. Okay, so stop coming in here with your virtue signaling and poor Howie. I'm not getting him a terrarium. I'm not getting him a bigger cage. So call the SPCA here in Kuwait. They're not going to give a crap. And hate me all you want, okay? Block me out of your life if I'm such a bad person. All right? I'm not getting him a bigger cage. Poor Howie. Boo-hoo. Small violin. <laughs> like, wow. Wow. You are nasty, Chantel. You know, you, you know, here's the thing. She talks about in, in this video about what happens after, you know, what people are going to experience after what, when the, after they die, where they're going to go. She's all acting like she's going to go to heaven because she's so righteous and stuff, stuff like that. That you know, she's been she's a victim, and she's sitting here talking about basically leaving her hamster to live in squalor. Because she's too lazy to clean up after him. If you can't take care of a pet, if it's very basic needs, then don't have a pet. You are an animal abuser, Chantel. You, honestly, you lost the, you lost the right to be able to own animals. And there should be laws in each country about who can own an animal and who can't. Stricter laws. And when somebody you know, hurts an animal, abuses it like Chantel does, and doesn't give it adequate living conditions, there should be penalties. Yes, I'm, I can still be a bee when I want to. Some hamsters don't even have big way. This is a time of, of, of you know, f reflection and and getting closer to God, you shouldn't be acting like a complete fucking bitch. Which have no traits, people can't afford it. Yeah, like what kind of life would he be living in dream all right now? Please. I'm tired of people like always like, like mind your business how people take care of their pets unless they're like severely like harming their pets. Get a life, like people are, you know. You mean oh my severely God. harming their pets by neglecting their nails to the point that they can't walk? Or did you mean neglecting them to the point of untreated kidney infections? teeth issues, or the variety of other ailments BBJ had? You know what the people who can't afford to get their pets appropriate shelter and care should do? Not get pets. You sound stupid. Oh, Chatty Crafter is missing when she made a video. I understand, like, and I'm in the same, a very similar position, you know, getting vet care is not exactly cheap, but I can still take care of basic needs. I still, you know what I mean? I still take care of my animals. And it shows. They're happy. They're healthy. Okay. It's just, you know, getting adequate health care within our price range is, is difficult. You know? And that's the same for a lot of people who have, who have pets. People say, oh, you can get, you know, pet insurance. You still have to pay up front in, in the U.S. The deductible, and, you know, if you have one that, where they pay, you don't have to pay up front, the deductible is so fucking high. 
Like you can't, you, either way, you can't win. Because what if you can't pay up front? You know, it's, it's a difficult situation. See, Chantal, she's not even taking care of the basic needs. She doesn't give a shit. And this is what we get, because she knows she isn't doing what she should be doing, and now she's on the defensive. About the cage and hamster. What? Can you just, like, stay out of my life? Like, I got rid of you. Leave me alone. Oh, I just don't get people who do that. They just... Alone, you guys. I, I've been cut out for being abusive towards Howie, so just leave me alone, okay? Let me let me live and take and abuse my animals in peace. No, Chantel. Request denied. Request denied. Um, that's not gonna happen. Sorry. Get there online and go after people when there's no problem. Like, stop it. Just to suck up to the haters. Get a life. Like, who would, who's proud to be a member of Gore World anyway? Yay, I, like, you know, just like Kay Bella doing what she did just to, uh, to get the attention of FFG, the approval. I'm such a pick me. I'm such an idiot. Please. By doing what she did, do you mean participating in consensual cheating with your husband? If she's evil, so is he Gorley. I really want to try not to focus on, like, negativity. She just, all, all Kai Bella did was prove what we already know, Chantel, and you're angry because he got caught, and now you're angry again because you got caught for abusing another animal. You were literally willing let, to let Howie live in that room, shitting, and, you know, pee pooping and peeing all over the place, you know, just letting it run free, doing ever whatever it wants, because you're too lazy to want to take care of it. You're disgusting, Chantel. That room is probably trashed. Full of bags of garbage. Like the, it, You're living in squalor once again because you're too lazy to clean your own place. Because now your complaint is, well, I have sciatica and I can't do it. Girl, shut the fuck up. But plenty of people have sciatica and they'd go about their day and do, and, and do physical labor with sciatica. stuff for Ramadan but like this is this is not just like normal haters these are not normal haters these are psychotic Islamophobic people who just like don't know anything about Islam and like make fun of my Muslim name make fun of Salah make fun of like how I pray make fun of my decorations oh, make fun of my dress, make fun of uh, what my bio looks like on my body make fun of how I cook but, like during Ramadan like can you not at least respect the religion to just find some other content no you can't because nobody religion Chantel we just don't respect you okay we don't respect you because you bring this to the internet. You're making a mockery out of it, just like how you're doing right now. And the response you get is is your karma, is your comeuppance. So shut the fuck up and eat your cake, Chantel. Eat the shit. Lay it, lie in the bed that you that you've made. Watches you unless you're hating on me. None, none. Nobody. That, that's proof in your, the people's numbers. Even Gorlick Loser, like his other channel. Nobody watches it. 100k people. Nobody watches it. Because it's not about me. She keeps repeating that it's disrespectful during Ramadan. Why? We don't observe Ramadan. You're the one that should be abiding by this peaceful time during your exactly. religion. Exactly. Not us. We're not... Muslims are not beholden to Ramadan. We're just not. not we're, I'm not saying that we shouldn't respect other people's religion and, you know, time, you know, special holidays like Ramadan. I have respect for, for that. But I'm not beholden to the, the tenets of Ram, you know, to the tenets of Islam to, to Ramadan because I'm not a Muslim. I reported her, but don't I mean, You claim YouTube to be. loves to plot. All they care about is money, I swear. I really wish I could, like, yes. find a platform that's not like that. I guess you're not going to really find one, Chantel. YouTube, at the end of the day, they all they do is care about money. And, it, you know, that's, they're a, a multi-billion dollar company. I mean, of course they're going to want to, like, make as much money as they can. I should make one. Business mogul? No, I'm too lazy. I'm too, I'm, I'm too ill.
You had it right the first time. You're lazy. I say your religion practice is cosplay, which is disgusting and, and, uh, disrespectful. They don't know anything. How can you even make that claim? Like... That's how we can make the claim, Chantel. My behavior is 100% better than theirs. Like, how can you even, you know... Oh. It's the same argument. It's, I'm like 90% better looking than anybody on YouTube. Everybody on YouTube. Ch Chantel, you look like a fucking troll. You are ugly on both on the outside and the inside. You're disgusting looking. You really are. You're not pretty. Okay? You don't have that pretty privilege. Just stop. Just stop. You're not better than anybody else. You're reviled on this platform. People hate you. And with good reason. For, sorry, for good reason. I love that just beaten and then made fun of you with a hug box and you don't have one that all they do is kick people out when they don't like what they say. I'm blocked from boozing and I was never mean. Yeah, they do the same thing. Like, that's the thing. They do the same or worse. And they have the, the, the nerve to judge just because they're butt hurt because I've called them out many times on their hypocrisies. They can't handle it. Those are narcissistic people. Those are insane. It, like, you're just you're butt hurt because that shows your narcissism. You're so stupid, Chantel. This argument makes no legit sense. Ignorant people who have the most to say, and they're spreading all of that hate and misinformation about a religion, about me, about a lot of things in the community. It's a community of trash. It's just a hate community, including Mr. Cardigan. He's just a hateful, cloud chasing weirdo who just gets a lot of things wrong, inconsistencies. Your he uses clips of your words, your words, and then he makes a comment here and there, but he lets you speak for yourself. So. What is that? I mean, that is legit does not make sense to me. If it's coming out of your own fucking mouth. I can't. I'm sorry. I know I'm swearing. People don't like when I swear, but I'm just, I, I'm pissed. I'm pissed off because I just got, I, I mean, before this video, I, I watched the video about Howie and everything and the obvious abuse that's going on um, of, of Howie. And I'm just, I'm, I'm angry. It's in the past, so I don't care. I'm not even going to watch his crap and I'm not watching like, the only Bullshit, thing like, you're gonna watch it. Like, and it was like the first time in a little while, like today, so. And I saw that and I was like, they're really going after how I pray? Are you serious? Like, what? No, like, you're literally watching FFG. I mean, you're obsessed. You're weirdly obsessed with FFG. You're more obsessed with her than she FFG is with you. Don't tell, this is the way it is. If you were to leave the platform tomorrow and never sh show your face again on any social media platform, just literally go dark on the you know, on the internet, we wouldn't. I mean, we would talk about it for maybe a couple days and then move on. That's how unimportant you are. You are like literally a blip. You're a form. You're a form of entertainment, and at some point, you know, we're all gonna move on to something else. It is what it is. What kind of like human being? They're just low, low of the barrel people. You are. You're that. Sarah, you're you're, like, yeah, but, no, you're lower than that. that. Pawn scum underneath the barrel. It's her. I think she's one of the hugest pathetic bullies. Imagine having a whole channel called Fatty Podcast and making fun of uh, overweight people when you're overweight. You have children you're supposed to teach how to be decent human beings, so you're a pathetic excuse for Stop children. And that's your content, bullying. Right. They've, they've said some horrible, disgusting, and done some disgusting things to others on the platform. I know, she does make a living, exactly. Imagine reason, Imagine feeding your children with hate money. You're winning, good for you, with your 11k views. I hope it's worth it. She posted her kid's birth certificate. The girlfriend she's with right now was like, call her kids unfortunate looking. Can you imagine her kids growing up and seeing that tweet? It's on the internet forever, honey. They're so disgusting. Girl. You're just jealous because Yaba and Sam have more money than you. They make more money off your content. They make hate tumblers of people. No, I hate them. You can tell. Sorry. I, I have to pray for that because I still have a lot. I don't hate people, but I strongly dislike them. <laughs> and I have good reason. Chantal can have her opinion on all of us the same way we can have our opinions on her. I just find it hilarious 
that she claims to be so much better than everyone in this community, and then says stuff like this. Chantal, you're in the trenches with us, girl. You just don't want to admit it to yourself. And you can hate me for whatever exactly. you want in my past. I don't care. Whatever you think, whatever lies you believe, whatever, whatever. Um, but at least I don't have a hate channel from somebody, for somebody, for one specific person. And I don't spread that into the universe. I don't spread that negativity. I don't talk about people to make a living, you know? Yeah, you can go over Cuba rage all you want. The one time, you know, or two times I got severely drunk and lashed out, especially at my abuser. Go ahead and use that all you want. These people are still doing this to this day. To this day, they're worse, 100% worse. Chantal loves to minimize her repulsive past. Mm -hmm. That's why it gets brought back up. Because if you boiled it, it would She has to do that because to make herself feel better about herself. She doesn't want to own up to the fact that she's a horrible person. Char like that. Go look up videos right now of boiling chicken and then ro roasting it. Like, go look up videos of... It's like, it's so, so simple. It's so, has nobody ever uh, simmered a chicken and then broiled it? Like, what? What I did was I simmered the chicken to make a stock out of it and to cook it. And then I like basted it with a bit of sauce and oil. And then I broiled it. Like I put it in the oven for like 20 minutes or so. I don't even count I, until it's brown. I love that we finished this video talking about that damn chicken again. Chantal, why are you so upset about that damn chicken? Also, please learn what broiling means, because if you broiled that chicken for 20 minutes, it would be charcoal. And anyway, she then wrote a bunch We've already gone over this, so let's move on to the next video, which is going to be really short, so. All right, so this is the Islam is not aesthetic video. This is the highlight of that live stream brought to us by Barbecue Chillin. Do a little stream because like I have to stay awake until Fajr, so. <laughs> and now I liked this picture. This is from our walk. <laughs> like introduced himself onto the platform with his eyebrow raised, thinking that he's the shit. Sala, you're still a scat man, Mr. Poopy. His grandma, but. Aw, oh, no, I don't. Yeah. This is <laughs> this was our walk on the beach together. This is without filtering. You're still adorable, babe. Oh, thanks, babe. You know what? I remind so I just want to touch on something before I get into what I wanted to talk about briefly. Um, so I just want to say yes for Ramadan. I'm trying not to be negative. I'm trying not to specifically if I address something. I don't think the issue is in addressing something or talking about something I feel is important to talk about. It's how I talk about it, you know. So I'm not going to be name calling. I'm not going to be using foul language, um, and all this and that. I'm going to try to. Okay. I know I, last time I did my live stream, I slipped out a few dumbs and stupids and all that. But when I was talking, when I when I showed proof of the the app, the the Kibla app, that millions of um, Muslims use, <clears throat> by the way. So I just want to say that it is an accurate app. How it works is what you have to do is you have to put in your location. So I let the the app choose my location automatically, and then it, based on your location, will show you the correct direction to pray. Okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, Another, so that, that's what I wanted to say. You, you don't have to choose because I know more reaching is happening where people are saying, oh, well, she didn't choose the right direction or she has to program it. People are making vile, like, you know, fat shame comments like, oh, you have to, you, you know, it's, it's not in the direction of Burger King, stuff like this. Okay, so anyway, whatever, that's irrelevant. Um, you don't actually have to program it. So there's no programming involved. I didn't program it wrong just to clear that up. Okay. You know, I, I took out the day one of my, my, my uh, thumbnail <clears throat> because of my Ramadan vlog. I've been trying to do content for like Ramadan you know, um, I know my health is not the best and I know how I am. So I don't think I'm going to say that I'm going to commit to like daily, you know, super vlogs or anything like that. I'm going to try my best that to do anything. That's the reality. You could barely walk around and around that beach. Imagine Chantel, you're literally a hus li li living like a hermit in that fart box in the sky. I'm like, too lazy to even put out to, to put out the promised content you know probably similar to vlogs like i did for the first day and stuff like that when i do do them you know they have to, they don't have much content so they have to keep the negativity and the hate going and how are they doing that they're doing that by comparing um my content as a muslim to other muslim creators and i'm sure if the other muslim sister sisters being used in comparison to make fun of another muslim uh, their content being used to make fun of another muslim would be 
Uh, that just brings me to my point that like Islam is not an aesthetic. Basically, people are comparing my vlogs to the vlogs of other people. Other people who, you know, have like a more, a lot more like aesthetic to their vlogs or have like a lot more things about, the, about what they're putting out on the platform. That's what, that's the, that's the deal here. They care more. I mean, that's, that's beautiful. Looks like a, a prayer room of some kind. That is gorgeous. That is just really nice looking. Because they care more about what they put out, Chantal. That's the reality. You're just jealous because they probably get more views than you do. They probably um, are more well-respected as a Muslim on the platform. I mean... And I, I've seen other, you know, watched a couple of, you know, Muslims creators dur during Ram during this year's Ramadan, and it's just the way they go about showing themselves that how what you know what goes on during Ramadan. From what I've seen, it's just it's all about presentation. You know what I mean? They don't do it in a way where they're seemingly mocking the faith, the faith that they're part, that they are in. Chantel, we already know that, that you're not taking this seriously. We know that, you know, you're, it's all, a, it's all a farce. It's just performative, you know? So it's like, we can't take what you do on here seriously. That's just the reality have maybe nicer things i don't think there's anything wrong with the things we have <laughs> i mean it's a different style but um people have different levels of things in general you know so i don't think that um you know like if you look at the picture on the left very aesthetic very nice whatever but <clears throat> honestly there's a lot of the picture what's wrong with with that room it looks nice very neat and orderly shows the person cares muslims who literally will pray on a piece of cardboard in the wet earth, in the dirt. And whether you're praying in the dirt, whether you're praying on a $500 prayer rug with your name engraved in gold on it, um, honestly, Allah doesn't care. Actually, he will probably praise the, the poor person praying in the dirt first because excessive like things and wealth is looked down upon in Islam. He would probably rather you use your money to donate to poor people. But... No, is is not indication that you're a bad person. There are plenty of people who are wealthy and and have nice things and still give to the poor, Chantel. My ex was like that. He had a lot of nice things and he was very wealthy, but he still gave to the poor. He still donated his time at at soup kitchens. Inspired me to do the same when I was able to. Just stop. Just stop, Chantel. Only difference is, is that, you know, he is like a, a Roman, a, you know, Roman Catholic. Uh, I'm not really, I, I'll say I'm a Christian, but I'm not like a part of any like actual church as of yet. Haven't really decided. But anyways, um, you know, it, it's like, it does not matter. What I'm trying to get at is it doesn't matter. It does not matter. If you have nice things or not, that does not indicate what kind of person that you are. It just look, this picture looks like for me. It looks like this person cares enough to take the time to keep a good house, and when they're making you know, making a video, they want it, it. They want their their the room to look good because the, it's a reflection of who they are you know i think it's nice i think it looks nice i like the curtain too the white curtain beautiful it's beautiful it's it, it's 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 simplistic and beautiful there's nothing wrong with having nice things i'm not saying that and mashallah to the people who really have nice homes really have nice things you know what i mean um but i'm just saying that like comparing one muslim to another like just for content and to you know keep perpetuating hate against somebody for how they worship their god is just disgusting especially when you don't know anything about a religion you know what i mean okay the direction of 
where you're supposed to pray is not dependent on the world map okay it's like my apartment the way my apartment is is placed in that little area of the map like it's anyway praying is so intimate in islam kibla up has saved me while traveling yeah i'm a moki like it's you shouldn't like, pray you shouldn't be praying online in the context that you're doing it you just shouldn't I, this is a very it's a very private intimate moment you know you're just doing it performatively when you put it online you're just doing it to prove to us because you need our validation. Whether you want to admit it or not, you feel like you need our validation. You're never going to get it, Chantel. You're never, we're never going to validate your bad behavior. Meant for that. Like, and you don't have to program it, right? Momoki, you don't have to put your direction. You just have to put your location. <laughs> like, you know, it's not the same. Like, like, I don't know what people are thinking, but anyway. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. After doing, like for Fadger, the Sujud is not bad. I can, you know, but when I have to do four rockets, like <laughs> for Tarawi, like for the extra prayers, the long ones where you have to do like eight rakats, I no, I'm sitting for that. But if I have to do only like between two to four, like for the regular prayer, it's not as bad. My leg does hurt after, but I just figure, I don't know, whatever. But you're right. Yes. Like Rebecca, like Allah, has, yeah, if you have limitations and you have to sit, like I've had to do that many times too. It depends how I'm feeling. Some days my pain is not there for a while. So I do sujud. Like I basically, Allah just wants you to do what you can. It's the intention that matters. So yeah, I just wanted to say that, like why it's just so weird. Like, so basically like Islam is not about that. Like, here's a good quote about that. Um, Allah's messenger said, wealth is not having many possessions. Rather true wealth is the richness of the soul. And it's true. For about the other people's money, aren't you? You're very obsessed with that. You know what? It's because you have none and you wish you did. You're coming on here acting all pious and be and trying to preach to us about about wealth and the riches of the soul. Girl, your soul is black. And how important it is to have spiritual wealth. The nerve of this this nasty narcissistic manipulative death fat to come on here and lecture us about the importance of spiritual wealth i can't this world is too complex it's like you know to me like love you'll never get enough if wealth is what you adore you'll always be wanting more our wants are limitless are limitless never hoard live moderately give generously and the blessings will be immense. Never hoard, Chantel. You hoard. You're a hoarder. So that's another thing against you. You're a hoarder. And you're sitting here showing this clip, th this quote, and you're a hoarder. And it's obvious you do care about about wealth. You always want more. You're never satisfied. Like literally, Chantel, th this a giant hypocrite once again. I put on my, my TikTok. I don't want to get all too religious because I know, you know, it's like, you know, can be annoying for some people, but it's true. It's like, to me, the proof that there's a creator is that there's creation. There's like, like intelligent, well thought out creation. Everything on this planet is to sustain life and it's here for us, you know? And it's like, I don't know. And that's all that matters to me now. That's all that matters to me is these things, these new things. And every time that I want to go back to Canada and I associate my life in Canada for some reason, I just can't get over that right now. So that's why I think it's better to stay away for now. It's just that I associate that old life before Islam in Canada. And I think that it's like, I feel like I'm just going to go back to all the material things and that's all that's going to matter. The wheelchairs, the food, um, all the things that were distracting me from what life really is about. And it's these distractions are everywhere and they're meant to take us off the right path. And like here, I, I associate myself with the right path here. I don't know. It's just like, you, you were know. like virtually, you know, you had a really good relationship with God, Allah, whatever is, you know, you would be fine with traveling to canada and other places and not feel the need to t partake in those vices because you have your faith is strong your faith in yourself is strong you don't need assurance from other people and to validate other people but see you're not strong you're very you're a very thin skin Chantel, and this just proves it so that's what I mean by like a tug of war with myself. And and I do, it gets hard. It's hard because I feel kind of like it's new. It's weird. It's, it makes you face yourself. It makes you think of things that you don't want to think about. You know, living Laura, I was over 400 pounds in Canada. So I don't know if you saw me skinny back then or what, but you definitely are seeing wrong. She's allegedly through. Girl, you're about right. In my humble opinion, more with Salah and in Kuwait. Yeah, I 
never, I've never, I walked, look how much I walked in Boulevard, even if it was the way I was walking is off. I mean, I'm a big person, yeah, you know? So the way I was walking, my gait might've been off. Um, but in Canada, I would drive everywhere and I would occasionally do a walk and be out of breath in one minute. <laughs> so no, exactly me. But um, we ordered. You were way out of breath when you're walking on that beach. You could barely do it. Give me a break, Chantal. It's still the same. You are so out of breath. Oh my gosh. Food today. I was like, I'm not cooking. Nope. I also go through phases where I'm like super like want to be Betty Crocker, perfect housewife to just like, I'm over it. Let's order today. It's not realistic for me with how I'm feeling to say, you know, I'm going to cook every single day a huge iftar meal. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> Applebee's fasting during Ramadan is not just about food. It's also to avoid negative behaviors, promoting self-control and purifying one's thoughts and actions. That's true, babe. Yeah. Which is <laughs> harder than the food sometimes. Honestly. Yeah. You know, I just had so horrible with my Your effort whatsoever, Chantel. This should be a time where you don't rage and, and go off. This should be a time of true reflection. But what are you, what are you doing? You're on live stream raging like a freaking she, she beast because you're not getting the food when you want to because of Ramadan. This is her throwing a tantrum. Wife. What? Oh, dear you. Don't get it. <laughs> Good, she can cook for a change. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Salario. <laughs> Hello, guys. How are you doing? Hey, babe. Hi, baby. Oh, God. Go away. Salah is here. Salah just got in from his four other apartments. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Lovey, a uh, couple channel, please. Oh, a couple channel. Maybe, maybe. Maybe when we get uh, more healthy. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being Thanks for being here. It means a lot. And uh, thanks, Salah. And inshallah, see you on the next time, guys. Yes. <laughs> Have a good one, and we'll see you uh, tomorrow. So happy to see you all. Yes. Good night, guys. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Masalama. Masalama. Well, that was just... Okay. So, what do we learn from that video? Chantel, from today's video. Chantel is just... A raging she-beast. Who in, is in no way, in my opinion, a true... Muslim. I love me or hate me for saying that, but I don't believe it. I'm not buying what she's selling. Okay. This is all performative, okay? This she's this is not in any way serious for her. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I'll be sure to link the the, the original videos from Chicken Pickle and Barbecue Chillin' in the description below. Until next time, folks. Toodaloo, my loves.